When I first saw Darwin Japat Guevara's work in an exhibition, I was just drawn by the fantastical, whimsical take on hard metal. It's amazing how he makes his work so clean and cohesive, in spite of all the lines and the shades that show tetanus level rust. I thought that was all there is to it until he said in passing how the job represents the baggage that we carry in our lives. All of a sudden, the whimsical fantasy became philosophical in my eyes. I then skimmed through his other works and saw a story of a person from youth to old age simply based on the baggage he's carrying. Let's start with the bike with the yellow background. Googling, I learned that a bike with the front wheel larger is called the penny farthing. I see this as the youngest because it has the least carry-ons. There isn't much baggage when you're young unless you had a bad start in life. Anyway, the stuff represents the hobbies that a young person usually dabbles with, which might later become his identity or job. I see a camera, a horn, an old radio, piano keys. I also see a bag and a suitcase. We see a man working his way up, perhaps toward the fulfillment of his dream of having his own house. I have no idea what 1978 here means since I can't remember anything spectacular in a nation's history during that year, unless it has a personal significance to the artist. The penny farthing has now become a unicycle with a Victorian chair as its seat. We see stuff that are less of a hobby and more of the mundane kind like a plastic basket, a box, and other nondescript functional items which signify adulthood and the mundane responsibilities that come with it. There's less time for one's enjoyment due to the tyranny of the urgent obligations. But adulthood is not all that bad as represented by the Victorian chair that looks so regal. Our adult may have less time for his hobbies, but he has more money now to spend. And like the 1978 plate, I have no idea what 1830 means here. The rusty scooter is tired and almost screaming to be retired. Our adult has now reached seniority with all the body aches and pains that old age brings. Unlike before where he can be mobile with his penny farthing unicycle, he is not going anywhere anymore, and he needs help to keep his balance with not one but two stands. Either life had not been good to him because he has less stuff or very old stuff, or he has relinquished his possession and have learned to keep only the basic necessities. But notice the tree with the colorful bloom and branches on the bottom left, and compare that to his younger self. It shows how he has extended himself to other people, perhaps his grandchildren, children. He may be nearing his end, but he has secured his legacy. And just to be consistent with 1978 and 8030, I am stumped by the 1955 plate. Follow Darwin Jap at Guevara for more of his amazing works to help us reflect on our lives. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.